Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center and today we're talking about the Foff Select 4.2. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take care of your machine. So, machines do produce lint as they sew, especially if you've sewn on something kind of fuzzy like flannel, but even just regular sewing, there's little bits of lint that come off of your fabric as you sew. So regularly, you need to clean that lint out of your machine. So to start out with, what we want to do is unthread our machine. So start out by snipping the thread up here by the spool, pull the thread out at the needle area, making sure that the presser foot is up. And then I'm also going to take the um, accessory tray off, get that out of the way, and take my bobbin out of there too. Now, now that it's unthreaded, we want to take the needle out and the presser foot off. Now normally, if you're unfamiliar with sewing machines, it's probably best to turn off the light just for safety purposes. But because I'm your teacher, I'm going to leave the light on so you have light to see what I'm doing here uh, in the areas that, where it needs it. So to start with, we're going to take that needle out of there, take a screwdriver, loosen the needle clamp screw, pull it straight down and off to the side and make sure you have that in a, a good place so that it uh, doesn't get lost. And then we're going to take the foot off and I also like to disengage the IDT, the, the walking foot at the top. So those things are now out of the way. So to take the needle plate off, take a flat bladed screwdriver, twist that under there, move that over to the left a little bit, and it just pops right off. So now we can take the included brush that came with your accessories, brush around the feed dogs. You can also lower the feed dogs and get in there a little bit further. Um, it's okay to use the vacuum cleaner hose attachment of your vacuum cleaner to brush out there really good and then brush in the bobbin area. Notice I have the bobbin case out. So we want to brush in there really good, especially between the feed dogs because that's where lint from flannel can build up right in there. So it's a good idea if you sew every single day for you to clean the lint out of your machine probably once a week. And if you only sew probably, you know, a couple times a week, once a month should be just fine. Also, as far as storing your machine, store your machine where you would be comfortable. So no hot attics, no cold, damp basements. Keep it at room temperature and your machine will work much better that way. And also, if you're going to go to a class and it's wintertime, don't put your machine out in the cold car the night before because it will have a hard time. Think of like joints that have a hard time in cold weather. Well, same thing with your machine. Keep it at room temperature as much as possible. Okay, so once you've got that cleaned, now you might want to put a little oil every now and then, probably about, oh, the book recommends one drop of oil every eight hours of actual sewing time. So if you're actually sewing for a total of eight hours. You'd want to put a little drop of oil. I'm going to use my screwdriver for a pointer. So right here, as you can see when I move this back and forth, see how part of it stays stationary and part of it moves? You want to have a little drop of oil right between the slipping sliding places. So one drop of oil, that's all you need. And make sure you're using good quality sewing machine oil. Only sewing machine oil. Okay, so once we're done with that, let's put this back together and I'm turning the hand wheel so that the take up lever is up here. That means that the needle, um, needle bar is up at the highest position. Now we're going to put this back on. Well, first of all, I'm going to put the feed dogs back up right there. Put the needle plate back on so it fits right around the feed dogs. Push that down, make sure it's all the way down. And let's see here. I don't think I got it all the way on. I'm going to put that back on. I think you got to start from the back. So this is a little, there we go. I heard that click into the back right there. So put it in the back first and then click it down. And that'll make sure that the feed dogs come up above the needle plate. So if you feel like they're not coming all the way up, do what I just did. Take it back off. Make sure it's connected in back and push it down. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put the bobbin back in. I have another video on how to thread your machine. Um, that you can watch. Now, to put your needle back in, by the way, 
You do have extra needles that come with your machine. They're the Inspira brand. Now, Inspira and Foff kind of go together. So when you need to get new needles, once you've used these up and you need new needles, get the Inspira brand. It's a good quality needle for this kind of machine. Okay. Now, your needles all have this flat side. You want to make sure that flat side is facing away from you. Now, you can put this in using your fingers, but I like to use this little tool. It's a, it's a brush with a needle inserter at the end. It acts like a handle for the needle. So I put that in there, making sure the flat side's away from me. Poke the pointy end right down there where it sews and bring it straight up in the center. Now I'm pushing all the way up to the stopper and then I'm tightening this a little bit by hand. And then I come over here and tighten it a little bit more with my screwdriver just so it's snug. There we go. And slide that down like that. Put my foot back on using the presser lever. Just lower it down like that, lift it up, and the machine is reassembled. So you can see that taking care of your machine is fairly simple and easy to do. Something that you should do regularly. Do a little more often than you think you need to, and then you'll get an idea of how often you need to do it. Maybe even put it on your calendar. You know, that might be a good idea. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other videos on our YouTube channel. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.